Two guys that you've probably played against more times than definitely me, the Stan Vavrinka and Andy Murray. Stan looked great. He just crushed Andy out there. Just you think there's a do you think there's a last run in Stan? Uh no. I mean I run. Maybe we can make the third round, fourth round. He looked great. I'll I'll give you that. But I think Murray made him look good too. You know, Murray's one of those guys right now. He doesn't have a lot of pop on his ball. He's just kind of massaging the ball around. And Stan is just stepping in, just going after these backhands. Like kind of Murray made him look like 2016 Stan Wawrinka. Um, <laughs> but but it is cool. To, it is cool to see him out there. It's cool to see Wawrinka and Murray. And you've got Mulfi and you've got Gasquet. You've got these guys that have like, you know, been in the game for 17, 18 years and they're still battling. Yep. But, uh, I, you know, it's a tough first round. Both those guys are, are – you know, going to be in the Hall of Fame. Stan got it the best of Andy here. I hope he wins another match or two. I hope he's competitive. Yeah. I know he loves the French Open. Um, but I, I don't know what you thought. I, I don't think he can make a run, but it was fun to see him out there. Yeah, come on. I just, I love Stan so much. And I mean, as a one-handed backhand player, oh, we just need to see that one-hander for a few, just at least, at least <laughs> two or three more matches. And if he gets going, yeah. you know, the I crowd hope he proves me wrong. I, I hope he proves you wrong too. I, I should have sh- should have looked to see who he played in the second round, but maybe someone can tell us that. But um, let's hope he can have a bit of a run for the old guy because he's the oldest one in the tournament, um, I believe, um, on the men's side that's left. So that would be great. And you mentioned yeah. Gasquet and Monfils. How great was it to see those two French players just battling it out there, two great guys. I mean, Gasquet, um, you know, talk about one of the great one-handers and then Gail Monfils. Monfils had a great win on center court last night against Sivol Vige, or however you say it. Um, <laughs> yeah. That was a really good win against him because that guy can play, that's for sure. But no, uh, was- poor old Gasquet, he gets to play Cinna next. Sorry. Yeah, I know, it was a great win. I was actually looking up Gasquet, and I was like, I feel like Gasquet has played the French Open 20 times. I think I saw he got a wild card in 2002. So he missed it two years, but I believe this is his 20th, maybe 21st French Open. Uh, but it's, it's especially fun to see Gasquet and Monfi because they're guys that they're just, the crowds love them forever. They're French yeah. players. They act French. They play French. They engage with the crowd. And so what does acting French mean to you? They hit, you know, Monfi wants to, hit, you know, play entertaining shots. Sometimes I feel like he's willing to sacrifice games and points to in the crowd. And and Gasquet on the other side, on the other hand, doesn't necessarily do that, but he's got that beautiful one-handed backhand. Uh, he kind of plays in a style that I feel like the French crowd like kind of relates to and likes to watch. And so yeah. it's it's fun to see both of them kind of have one, I don't know if it's one last run, they haven't announced a retirement, but it's, it's fun to see him out there winning matches. And he plays, you know, Gasquet plays center in the next round, which is going to be tough, but yeah, Gabe played great at the French Open for, like I said, 20 years. And if, if yeah. he plays all right, he can make that a fun match. Yeah, he'll make it a fun match, but he's going down in straight. Um, but uh, Monfils, yeah. he, he looks, you know, that guy can beat anyone on any, any given day, one the, if not the best athlete we've ever seen play tennis. Um, and just by the way, Stan plays, Stan plays Pavel Kotov. That's all right. I'm taking Stan in that. There you go. See, we still got I'm him for a little while. There. Come on, come on. Another Let's oldie go. that. Uh, Another oldie that final, that won a match as well on a surfer that's not really known to win is Kay Nishikori. He won his first Grand Slam in three years. I mean, that's insane. We know he's been injured. He's had to deal with it, all of that. But to win 7-5 in the fifth set, talk about earning it. My gosh. Way to go, Kay. No, it's great. Like you said, we haven't seen him in three years. He's, he's had some terrible luck with injuries, but to uh... – a to come out the French Open having not played a you know a slam or a big match in three years and win a seven five in the fifth, uh, that's I wonder how he's effort. feeling today. I wonder how he's feeling today. Yeah, we'll see how he does in the next round. But he's he's got an incredible five set record. I don't, he's twenty eight and seven right now in five setters. It's the best uh, record amongst like active men that are playing. So um, I don't know what it is that K could do mentally in the fifth set, but whatever he's doing, he's, he's done it incredibly well over his career and he's got a tremendous fifth set record. Yeah. How many times did you play K? You know, I pro- I'm kind of guessing. I feel like I played him like six times and I was probably. Tell me, what, tell me his favorite, like the best thing that he does. He just, he can go forehand to forehand or backhand to backhand with anyone. He's the guy that can lock in backhand cross courts. Oh, I need to make 40 in a row. I can do that. I need to make 40 forehands in a row. I can do that. So we just, 
kind of in a way like Rafa, he makes you work really hard for every point, and he he's just such a clean ball striker and can just go toe to toe, you know, with pretty much anyone in the world. Well, just so you know, you played him eleven times and you lost four. You you won four and you lost seven. All right, I was. Bad. I look. I wasn't prepared for that question. What did I say? Six. Those two and six. Those four and seven. You, well, I'll tell you what you did. You blocked out the seven you lost, mate. That's what you did. Yeah, exactly. But hey, it's not a bad record against a very good player, and he was at his yeah, prime. I'll when take he that. Against- 